Here's another cool theorem about circles. It's called the power of a point theorem. And there's a couple different parts to it, but but if you have a circle, um, and a point outside that circle, let's say we have point P here, uh, emanating from point P are two secant segments. And the two secant segments intersect the circle at points A and B and C and D. Well then the power of the point P with respect to circle O say is PA times PB which is equal to PC times PD. So the theorem states PA times PB is equal to PC times PD. This is for any A, B, C, or D, which makes, makes it pretty cool. So, for instance, you know, if this is 5, and this is 15, and this is 6, and this is X, and we have a question that asks us to solve for X, well, we can do that using the power of, power of the point theorem. Uh, PA is 5, PB, well PB is 20, right? Uh, 5 plus 15 is 20. PC is 6, and PD, well PD, that's 6 plus X. This is times 6 plus X. So this is the equation you have to solve uh, to to find x, oh, we can do that, right? So this is 100, this is equal to 36 plus 6x. Subtract 36 from both sides, we have 64 equal to 6x, and so we have x equal to 64 over <coughs> 6, which is 32 thirds. <coughs> So that's, that's the power of the point theorem. So let's let's prove that uh, using this diagram. Although there is, there's another diagram we could use. Maybe I'll do that in another video. Okay. So I'll just leave that diagram there. Well, as with most geometric proofs, you have to draw the right auxiliary lines. And in this case. Those lines are uh, AD and CB. And what that gives us actually are two similar triangles. Um, in fact, triangle PAD is similar to triangle PCB. PAD similar to PCB. So I'll show that. Well, they both share angle P, right? So that's simple enough. So we need to find one more angle that they have uh, that have equal measures, and then we'll have angle angle similarity. Well, check it out. Angle CBP. Well, let's say CBA intercepts this arc AC, and angle CDA intercepts this arc AC. And so, if CDA intercepts arc CA, and CBA intercepts arc CA, well then, angle D and angle B are both half the measure of CA, and thus they are congruent. Now we have angle-angle similarity uh, between these two triangles. So then you can write a proportion. You can say that PA is to PC, PA is to PC as PD as PD is to PB. So then you can cross multiply PA times PB equals to PC times PD.
that's the power of the point P.